Hey, Eric. Hey, Joel. Last time we met, we were doctors. How's it going, Joel? Hey, Eric. Nice lab coat. Thanks, you look very professional. Thanks, you as well. <laughs> it yes. seems in our doctor garb. Now we've got gloves on. Why do I have a glove on? Because we are here to show you one of the world's fastest SLA 3D printers. And did it make this? It did. Uh, how much time do you think that it took to print this? Let's see, I'm gonna hold this. Okay, this is a giant Einstein head and it's pretty tall and on that build plate. This is resin, I would imagine 15 hours, 20 hours? Two and a half. <laughs> Seriously? Yes. Two and a half, this is, this is huge. That's insane. Okay, well, you know what? I wanna show you this machine here because if it can do this in two and a half hours, that's pretty crazy. So why don't we do that? Right here on 3D Printing Nerd. I need to hand this off, obviously, uh, but I'm gonna need a favor because this, this is resin. So would you remove this glove for me? Yep. Safety first. Ah, freedom. Hey man, it's good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. It's been a while. Like I said last, we were doctors, but we're here at the Dynamism booth, right? Correct. And you're here at Dynamism. Tell me a little bit about Dynam Dynamism. Am I, say am I saying that right, Dynamism? Yes. Okay. Dynamism. There's two M's in there, right? Yes. Okay, so tell me about Dynamism. So Dynamism is a seller of professional 3D printers. Um, the great thing about us is we're brand agnostic, um, so we can recommend the 3D printing type of technology that's gonna be perfect for your application. We're not particularly bound to any single manufacturer. Oh, so someone comes to you with a problem saying, I need to do this with additive manufacturing, and you, can, you have full run of the gamut of all the different brands that you carry, and you can be like, I recommend this, or maybe this, or both. Yes, we have resin, we have FFF, we have metal, and we have carbon fiber. Well, speaking of resin. Yes, this is uh, Nexus NXE 400. Uh, this is one of the world's fastest SLA 3D printers. Fastest. Well, we saw the Einstein two and a half hours for that. I mean, that's that's quick. What enables it to print so fast? Uh, so it has a lubricant sublayer, um, so it doesn't have to peel off the, the whole 3D print just to get the resin under it and reset the print for the next layer. Okay. Um, so oh, it prints whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. So normally, normally 3D printing with resin, it puts it, it cures the resin against the, the film or the layer here, yes. and it has to, there's cure time, and then it has to peel it away somehow, and then it has to let the resin get under, yeah. and then it has to bring the part down, right? So this does it a, better. Yes, it has a super, super slippery sublayer, as well as a more high, higher viscous, I can't even say that. <laughs> <laughs> so higher viscosity type resin, so it allows it to flow under there. Um, the end result is it's flashing a layer about every second or about a <laughs> centimeter every minute. Every second? Yes. That's nuts. Yes, uh, and we're gonna do a demo, demo for you. Uh, this demo is gonna be 84 prints and we're gonna do it in about seven and a half minutes. Wait a minute, wait a minute. A full build plate just full of 84 different parts. Yes. Seven and a half minutes for the print time. Yeah. I mean, obviously there's <laughs> still, you have to post process, right? They're still washing and curing, but that's insane. Yeah, and you're gonna get this standard uh, SLA uh, quality print. Uh, so this one is about 100 <laughs> microns per, uh, doing 100 micron layer height. Oh, so a rough print for SLA then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna do that now? Yeah, you ready? Uh, yeah. All right. We're in front of the machine now and we're gonna print these things, right? Yeah. Okay, what's the first step? First, you're gonna close the door. Do I just hit Would the you close like to button? Do the honors? Yes, yes, I, can I do it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's so satisfying. It's like Star Trek. Yeah. All right. And then you want to hit the play button for me? That's it? Yep. Okay. It's, I hear noises. It's going. Seven and a half minutes and counting. So you've got a little demo piece here. This is what we're printing 84 of, right? Yes. Uh, it's just a little demo model um, for CES 2020. Okay. Um, and it's got no function other than to demonstrate or does it do something? Uh, this is actually just a, <laughs> I, I have no clue what it's Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't form together in some sort of cool robot or something, right? We could try. So this is going, you said 84 parts in seven and a half minutes. Correct. So we can go grab a sip of water, come back, and it should be done? Yep. Let's go hydrate. All right. A few moments later. Dude, it's been like eight minutes, slightly less than eight minutes, and the machine, like the noise cut, and it was done. Yeah, are you ready to see what's inside? I really want to see what's inside because I'm just blown away. You want to play with the door? Can I open it? Yeah. <laughs> door, open. Yes. 
So uh, you've got the gloves. You're going to handle everything on the inside, right? I am. Eric, what's the first step? All right, I'm going to get this uh, tray out to prevent any uh, resin from dripping. We're going to get it under here. Loosen it. Looks like you're undoing the, the thing that holds the build plate on. You slide it out and oh my gosh. <laughs> Seriously, eight minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes and and they're, they're all good. And Look this at, is not even a full build plate. No. Um, so you can actually fill out the build plate and it will take the exact amount of time. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, they all look perfect. Yeah. Okay, so the, the big question then, uh, what does a machine like this cost? $60,000 <laughs> out the door. Um, you, you physically own it, uh, but you do have to get a washing and curing station as always. Um, yeah. But 60, okay, this isn't targeted at the maker in the garage. This isn't targeted at the hobbyist who just likes to print D&D &D miniatures, right? No, uh, I, th I think we're trying to close the gap between traditional manufacturing and 3D printing. Um, and we're getting damn near close. Oh, so so this, is, this isn't a fully fledged uh, production system, but this in the tool chain could be an, uh, an immense help. Yeah, uh, you're able to do short run production parts in minutes, not days. Well, you just did 84 of them right there. <laughs> yeah. Well, just I imagine someone in a professional space having to prototype something and uh, it's a bunch of parts, just having to lay it all out. I mean, they get that immediate feedback. In the eight minutes this took, this is like getting up from your desk, going to the bathroom, grabbing a cup of coffee and coming back. That's how much time this took. It just, it's mind blowing. Instant gratification. If someone wants to know more about this, how do they go about finding it? Uh, just reach out to us at dynamism.com. All right. Eric, it was great meeting you again here at CES. Yeah, it was great seeing you. I mean, uh, I can't wait to see where I see you again, talking yes. about some other machine. Showing you cool tech. And you gotta, you're gonna have to cure that, right? Yeah, I gotta go watch this right now. Well, I'm gonna wanna go see some CES, so why don't we wrap it up here? Great seeing you. Hey, you know what? It's a big thanks to everybody who watched it this far, because if you did, you're awesome. I like that we get to see stuff like this, and I hope you like it too. Don't forget to hug each other more, because I love you all, as always. Oh, you're missing a hand there. High five. <laughs> <laughs>